beautiful day up here. This is uh, Cape Townsend out to our left. And but let's go and explore this unnamed island off Round Rock. I think it's got to be called Monica's Island. <laughs> Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Uh, like a lot of the little islands around here, you can only really get access when the tide's uh, above half tide or even higher because there's a lot of intertidal zone that comes out and a lot of bombies and rocks. So you're better off waiting until uh, it's getting on towards high tide before you try to come ashore. It saves a few props on the uh, outboards, I think. So this is Round Rock in Broad Sound. We're anchored off two little islands just to the north of it, and they don't seem to have a name. So we're gonna name them the Monica Islands. Monica Island definitely has a little bit of character to it. A bit different than the other ones we visited lately, that's for sure. Not much of a walk here, but uh, we're going to have a look around the rocks, eh? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> we didn't know that was there, did we? Beautiful beach. Better than Whitehaven. You know, we've got it all to ourselves. I'm really impressed with uh, Monica Island. We're going to stay here for a couple of nights now, I think. Weather's perfect. We don't have to rush anywhere. We're sort of still waiting for that northerly to kick in. Middle of uh, next week. So we can spend two or three days here, I would reckon. It's a great spot. If it only had a name. made by the very early inhabitants. It's a wheel. It's before they worked out that they had to be round. So this is a very early example of Stone Age technology. Well, how good was that? What a lovely little island and uh, a bit more to explore tomorrow. We've got a very calm anchorage here. Another beach around the corner. And uh, we think we might stay here for a couple of days. Like, it's just very, very pleasant. We're the only ones here and yeah, it's great. Settling in for the night. Kettle's on for a cuppa and it's, um, Time for a movie. Well, what a perfect day. Again, this is day two at uh, what we've named Monica Island. That's uh, Round Rock, you can see in the distance. And there's two islands here. We can't find any name on them. So we've called them North Monica and South Monica. And uh, we're going to head over there today and have another look around. We'll stay here again tonight. Possibly head through Strong Tide Passage tomorrow. There's more of this weather coming, so we're really enjoying it. It's just fantastic here. Oh, I've got to get that washing off the line too. So what sort of day it is? 
it's an unbelievable day. Not Just a breath of wind. Beautiful. Dead flat. What do we got over here? What is that? Is that a turtle? Don't know. Might be a bommy. The turtle. The turtle. <gasps> Is he asleep or sick? He's a big fella. He's awake. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna miss it again. <laughs> what a big turtle. <laughs> oh. He's quite old, but I think he might be a bit crook because he's floating back up to the surface again. Poor old bugger. I don't know, he's gone down, he might be alright. You can't actually tell people how beautiful this is, but they have to see it. Very special when the weather's like this. A glass out. No boats out here, we're the only ones here. North Monica Island we're going to be exploring today and we might even get across and have a look at South Monica as well. save a mile or two by taking the channel up behind Round Rock to Strong Tide Passage. Pushing a bit of tide uh, coming up the back of Round Rock, uh, but we'll pick it up again when we go through Strong Tide Passage. Be careful navigating through here, lots of rocky outcrops that all be underwater at high tide, so pay careful attention to your navigation. It's a uh, pretty unforgiving country.
we didn't get the tide quite right. Um, we're just about through, but we're pushing about half a knot of uh, current now, and another half hour or so, it'd uh, get quite strong here. So we're only just gonna get through here uh, on this tide. I'm not sure what happened there. The tide predictions are either wrong, but um, we should have had plenty of tide to get through. We're just gonna make it. It's gonna be a cracker of a day, so um, once we get out of here, we'll shape a course for Pearl Bay. I think it'll be fantastic down there. We only just made it through. The tide's ripping in here now. We're down about 3.6 knots. Felt the swells for a while, darling? No. Oh. It looks so calm out there, doesn't it? Well, we uh, just got out of Strong Tide Passage, just in time actually. The tide's really starting to run in through there. We're starting to pick up a bit of speed. We've altered course and we're heading uh, across the island head. First time we've felt, felt the ocean swells for a while. It's probably about a metre rolling in here at the moment, but um, yeah, a bit of swell. We'll get up to Island Head and we'll work it out from there where we're going to go. We'll either go into Island Head or we'll go down to Pearl Bay or maybe even Port Clinton. I think the plan at the moment is to um, go to Pearl Bay, see how tenable it is there. Uh, if the swells aren't getting in, we'll stay there. Otherwise, we'll probably go down to Port Clinton and find a bit of shelter in there. Uh, probably still looking at Wednesday or Thursday to head further south because we'll get some northerly which would be great. So we can cool our heels a little bit for a couple more days. We haven't quite run out of food yet and uh, yeah get down there with a bit of wind behind us which would be fantastic. Get this sail out, hadn't been out for a while. Okay we're always about uh, finding new interesting spots and I've just had a look on Avionics and there was a boat that's been in this little bay over here um, and reckons it gets you out of the swell. So we're going to go over and have a look. Um, if it's no good, we'll head up to Island Head Creek. A little bit of swell on here and the wind is out of the south a bit. So we'll go over and have a look at this little bay and see what it's like. If it's tenable, we'll stay there the night, I guess. So where are we off to, Mon? Pine Tree Point. So, yeah. so We're so going to the beach and Pine oh, Tree Point. Oh, look, a boat. Well, we haven't seen one of those for a few days. No. Bit of a creek here uh, up on the eastern side of the beach. But uh, word has it there's a big croc living up there, so we're not going to go and have a look. <laughs> he can stay up there. It's a bit of a shame because it'd be nice having a swim 
out in the water here, but not really game. Well, it's been a great uh, overnighter here at Pine Tree Point. Uh, you probably wouldn't do this anchorage in any developed southeast weather, but the weather's been very light and calm at the moment, and it was uh, quite pleasant here. The only time we got a bit swell coming in was at the change of tide, so it's been pretty good. What we're going to do now is um, just up anchor, and we're going to head down to Pearl Bay. It's only about seven or eight nautical miles, so we'll be down there an hour or so. And uh, we'll spend the night there. We're heading down towards uh, Yapoon. And what we think we're going to do is um, do a Woolies order and go into the public pontoon there and pick it up. And then we'll head out to Keppel for a little while. And uh, that's the plan. So we'll see how we go. But anyway, we'll get this anchor up and uh, head down to Pearl Bay. As you're heading into uh, Pearl Bay from the north, the island you can see in front of us, there's a bank that runs out nearly over to the beach on the right hand side. So leave yourself plenty of room. Uh, stay over near the, the beach on the mainland. Um, plenty of deep water there, but there is quite a shallow bank that extends out from these islands uh, on the left. Be very aware of that there was a boat up on that sandbank uh, not two months ago. Mm -hmm. The deepest water coming in here is um, not far off the beach. We find another great little spot that we've never visited before, Delcomen Bay in Port Clinton. It's beautiful here. Then it's an early start for a very calm trip down to Keppel Bay Marina where we resupply before heading out to Great Keppel Island. Thank you. 